So, what have you brought me here for, Steve? Well, I thought you'd be a little bit surprised. As you know, today is World EV Day, where we celebrate emissions-free motoring and sustainable transport. So the, the nice guys at Porsche Center in Melbourne have invited us down to borrow their car. So let's go inside, we'll have a look and hopefully get to see that really gorgeous looking take home. Perfect. Okay, Steve, it's World EV Day. We've got the keys to a Porsche. Where are we heading to first? Well, we're here at Abbotsford and it's probably appropriate before we actually go for our drive on World EV Day where we're gonna have a look at a whole heap of different chargers. Yeah. Then maybe we look at our new chargers that are here. They're actually not so new. They've been here for a couple of years now, although the car has come out only last year. Okay. So this is our charger that is actually installed here at um, Abbotsford. And you can see the two chargers are here. We've got two of them. Yeah. This is what we call a Terra HP. Now it was actually designed and released in 2017, specifically in conjunction with Porsche for the Taycan. Oh, okay, right. So this is the first of its type that actually can do 350 kilowatt charging, which the Porsche Taycan is capable of. You can see it's only got one connector on this particular charger, yeah. and that's because the Porsches only take CCS. So what you're looking at here is a CCS connector, okay. and that will go into the vehicle, which we'll show you later on in the day today when okay. we do a bit of a charge, because I know this vehicle is actually fully charged. Okay, right. And inside this in the charger, mm. there's actually no charging facility in it. Inside it is basically the communication, which all our chargers are connected, yeah. and the refrigerant for this. Okay. So follow me and I'll show you where the charger is. So you can tuck the um, power modules out of the way? Absolutely, up to 100 metres away okay. from, from the actual charging cabinet. That's going to be really good if you've got a constrictions for space in your car park. 100%. Area. It also allows any noise that comes from the chargers, and these are fairly quiet, is kept away. All right, let's get going. Okay, hey, have you ever driven a Porsche before? Well, I'm about to find out, Sean. There you go. <laughs> you have this crap. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, Steve, World EV Day, and uh, we're going to do some travelling to different charging locations. We're going to see a whole heap of different uh, chargers today, but the first of those will be at the training centre for Porsche Cars Australia. Right, so, and they have ABB uh, chargers in school there? They do. So while we're here, why don't we have a look at doing a charge here just to show you exactly how it all works. Okay, but I thought we had plenty of range still left in the car. It's a Porsche, of course we have range. <laughs> But the whole idea is continual top ops is the right way to go with EV. Rather than starting, you know, letting it go down right to the bottom and charging to 100%, you just keep on charging yeah, it in that Yeah, so there's range. that sweet spot between sort of 20 to 80% where it's the fastest time you'll charge. So we should get a fairly good rate. So this has got actually a really interesting way of releasing the, uh, well, actually, the thing. So it's a, cool. a slide on the bottom. Now this, because we've got the CCS there, yeah. we have to unrelease that. And then it's just a matter of plugging it in, making sure that the connection is tight, right. okay? So what I thought the next place we'd go to is actually meet the team at Jet Charge. We'll uncook and we'll, we'll go and uh, head down there. Let's do it. Right, eh? Okay, so it's interesting there that at the Porsche dealership in Abbotsford, the power cabinet was separate from the outlets, but there it was a fully integrated unit uh, with no separate power cabinet. We'll see today a couple of different ones. So we're going to meet a guy called Leo Harrigan and he will actually show you what I call the wall of wonder. And what that is, is a specific uh, wall of charges that Jet Chargers created, including our charger, where they can do some compatibility testing, uh, engineering testing, to show vehicle OEMs exactly how the charger will perform on their cars. Steve. Leo, how are you? Good, Good to mate. see you. So this is all brand new. How long have you been in the building? We have been here for three months. Fantastic. Well, I thought I'd just bring out uh, Sean to have a look at some of the charges that you've got up on the wall. And I noticed you've got the wall box over there. We do. So maybe we'll go over and have a look at it. Absolutely. Cool. Well, Steve, this is a little bit smaller than the one we saw at the Porsche Training Centre, isn't it? Yeah, so what ABB's been developing is a product that's in between an AC charger and a 50 kilowatt DC charger, which is what you saw at the training centre. So this product's a 24 kilowatt yep. DC charger. It'll put about three kilometres of range every minute of charge. So this is what we're using for a lot of the vehicle OEMs. Uh, it has some unique little possibilities that we can mount it on a wall, we can mount it on a pedestal, and we can also do a portable cart with it. Okay, that was really great to hear what Jet Charger up to. So where are we off to next? Where I'd like to take you next is to, uh, to go and have a look at our distribution partner, IPD, okay. and their partner, ALH, which uh, have got wholesaler out in Sunshine West. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a look at what they're doing with the Terra AC. 
My EV's going to be arriving in about a month or so now, Steve. What type of charger do you think I'm going to need for home? Well, I think your home's probably like most people's home in Australia, that it's single phase wound. Yeah, no, it so, is single phase. Yeah, so what we'd be looking at is a simple AC wall box, uh, 7.5 kilowatt single phase. Yep. And what we thought we'd do on this next visit is actually go and visit one of our electrical wholesaler partners. Yeah. When you go to order a charger, you'll obviously need a contractor to actually fit that and install it. Yeah. So once you've decided on the particular type of charger that you need, your contractor will then look to purchase that through an electrical wholesaler. Okay. So this is the type of charger that I'm going to be installing at home, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's commonly known as a destination charger, so it's an AC charger. It's available in single phase, 7.5 kilowatt, and also 11 and 22 kilowatt in three phase. But I don't have three phase power. Exactly. So what you'd be looking at is more the 7.5 kilowatt charger. Right. Um, this takes place of the, the standard charge that you might get with your car okay. and it'll give you around about 30 kilometers of range every hour of charge. So this one here is available as a wall box charger with a fixed cable. Yep. It's also available as a socket okay. version and it can be mounted on the wall, but as you can see, it can be mounted on a pedestal as well. Okay. So it's suitable for residential, but also suitable for um, and that'll, that'll be nice. as well. That'll be tidier like that as well. I mean, absolutely. Just bring the plug yeah. Along. So what the difference is is pretty much you can pick the size of cable that you want. So this is a five meter cable. This will be however long you like. Okay, perfect. Well, that was really great. It's good to see that you know at your local Lawrence and Hanson wholesaler you can pick up an electric vehicle charger for home. So where are we off to now? Next one I'm super excited about. This this site was only launched just two days ago. Wow. It's Ampol's latest. Uh, public charging so this is the fifth site they've done in about four weeks and every one of the sites has an ABB charger on it so let's go and have a look at that one really excited to see this one excellent let's go well Steve I see what you mean this is a good looking uh, installation this is very very cool what's the output of this guy this is a scalable charger to 180 kilowatts so we can do this version in a 90 kilowatt or a 120 kilowatt or a 180 kilowatt. So in this particular specification, it's a 180. And that's because we've got 30 kilowatt power supplies inside it, and we've got six of them. Okay, so modularly you can upgrade a 90 to 120 and then 120 to 180. Absolutely, as your needs and your budget requires, you can go and scale up as you need to. And this is like a different plug here? It is. So this one is CCS, yeah. and this one, the blue one, is Chidomo. So it's a very different charger than the, uh, the previous one that I've shown you. I see. This is one of our latest uh, installations, isn't it? What's one of our earlier installations? Funny you should ask me that. I think we'll go there next. Let's head to Torquay. Perfect. Steve, how long have ABB actually been involved in electric vehicle charging? Yeah, so ABB as a whole has been involved since 2010. Okay. Started rolling out DC chargers and have rolled out over 30,000 installations around the world. but. In Australia, ABB, we really picked up around the end of 2017. Yeah. And we were lucky enough to work with ChargeFox, who were the first to really roll out a large network of public charges. Yeah. We did three initial sites with them at Euroa, at Barnwatha, and then down at Torquay. So that would be really well positioned, somebody that's heading down the Great Ocean Road to sort of take the opportunity to top that battery up again for the rest of their trip. Correct, yeah. So it just gives um, the EV driver the confidence so that they can go away for the weekend or go for a drive. They know that if they start with a, a fairly high percentage when they leave home, take that hour or so drive down towards uh, the Great Ocean Road, call in at Torquay and get a chop up and charge. And that'll enable them to go further down the road to the tourism areas of Apollo Bay, Lawn, or, or down at Port Campbell. Yeah, excellent. I'm really looking forward to seeing this installation. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a really important one, uh, particularly for this great tourist uh, destination. Here we are at uh, RACV Torquay, the last stop on our World EV Day tour. And here we are with one of the first installations and we're charging at 148 kilowatts. It's not bad. We put this one in in 2019 and we can even do faster now. Yeah. Well, it's been a great uh, end to the day and thanks a lot for your time, Steve, and thanks a lot to Porsche Australia for lending us this fantastic Porsche Taycan. It's been an absolute pleasure to be in through the day. Yeah, I think we've had a good time, hey? Excellent. Great place to stop. Thanks for the time, Sean. Cheers, mate.